mental addition. In this video, you will learn the left to right method of doing mental addition for most numbers that you encounter on daily basis. These mental skills are absolutely necessary in school, at work or anytime you use numbers. Soon you will be able to retire your calculator and use the full capacity of your mind as you add and subtract 2 digit, 3 digit and even 4 digit numbers with lightning speed. Before that, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe to get the latest video notification. So let's get started. Left to right addition. Most of us are taught to do math on paper from right to left. For example, if we want to add 24 and 29, we will start adding from the right. That is, we will add 4 plus 9 first. And that's fine for doing math on paper. But if you want to do math in your head even faster than you can do on paper, there are many good reasons why it is better to work from left to right. After all, you read numbers from left to right. For example, we read 20 as 20 and not 02. You pronounce numbers from left to right and so it's just more natural to think about and calculate numbers from left to right. When you compute the answer from right to left as you probably do on paper, you generate the answers backward. That's what makes it so hard to do math in your head. If you are used to work from right to left on the paper, it may seem unnatural to work with numbers from left to right. But with practice, you will find that it is the most natural and efficient way to do mental calculation. Now let's see two digit addition. Our assumption in this video is that you know how to add and subtract one digit numbers. We will begin with two digit addition, something I suspect you can already do fairly well in your head. For example, we need to calculate 47 plus 32. So we can write 32 as 30 plus 2. To solve 47 plus 32, first add 30 to 47, then add 2. Hence we can write as 47, then we will first add 30 to it. So we got 77. After adding 30, you have a simpler problem. You will just have to do 77 plus 2, which equals 79. Well, that was pretty simple. Now consider another example, 67 plus 28. So we can write 28 as 20 plus 8. Hence we can write 67. Then we will first add 20 to it. So we got 87. After adding 20, we have made the problem simpler. You will just have to solve 87 plus 8, which gives us 95. Now try one on your own. Pause the video and mentally calculate from left to right and then resume the video to see how we did it. 84 plus 57. Here is the hint. We can write 57 as 50 plus 7. Now pause the video and mentally calculate it. How was that? You added 84 plus 50 which is equal to 134 and added 7 again to 134 to get 141. Right? Did you get the same answer? I hope you did. Practice will make you perfect. Let's try another problem for practice. Again computing it in your mind first. Then we'll check how we did it. 68 plus 45. We will write 45 is 40 plus 5. You should have added 68 plus 40 which is equal to 108 and then 108 plus 5 which is equal to 113. The final answer. Was that easier? I hope you shouted yes confidently. Now let's try 3 digit addition. The strategy for adding 3 digit numbers is the same as for adding two digit numbers. You add from left to right. After each step, you arrive at a new and simpler addition problem. 
Let's try the following. 538 plus 327. Again, as explained before, we can write 327 as 300 plus 20 plus 7. Hence, we can write 538. Then we will first add 300 to it. So, we got 838. After adding 300, we will add 20 to 838, which gives us 858. Then we have made the problem simpler. You will just have to do 858 plus 7, which gives us 865. All mental addition problems can be done by this method. The goal is to keep simplifying the problem until you are just adding a digit number. Notice that 538 plus 327 requires you to hold on to 6 digit in your head whereas 838 plus 27 requires only 5 digit and 858 plus 7 requires only 4 digits. As you simplify the problem, the problem gets easier. Try the following addition problem in your mind before looking to see how we did it. 623 plus 159 we can write 159 as 100 plus 50 plus 9. Did you reduce and simplify the problem by adding left to right? After adding the hundreds, that is 623 plus 100 gave us 723. Next, you should have added the tens, that is 723 plus 50, which is equal to 773. Simplifying the problem to 773 plus 9, which you then sum to get 782. Now let's try another harder 3 digit addition problem. 858 plus 634. Do it in your mind. I will take a pause for a moment so that you get time to solve it in your mind. Did you solve it? I hope you did. So let's see how we can solve the problem. Now let's try another one for practice. 759 plus 496. We can write 496 as 400 plus 90 plus 6. Now pause the video and do it in your mind first. Then check our computation. This addition problem is a little more difficult than the last one since it requires you to carry a number in all three steps. However, with this particular problem, you have the option of using an alternative method. I am sure you will agree that it is a lot easier to add 500 to 759 than to add 496. So try adding 500 and then subtracting the difference. 759 plus 496. We can also write 496 as 500 minus 4. We can write 759 plus 500 which gives us 1259. Now we are just left with 4 which is very easy to subtract from 1259 which also gives us the same answer that is 1255. Let's finish up by adding 3 digit to 4 digit numbers. We begin with an easy one. 2700 plus 567. We can write 567 as 500 plus 67. Now you must be thinking why I have written 67 and not 60 plus 7. This is because in the number 2700, we have 0 in the unit place and hence we don't need to add any extra number to 7. Since 2700 plus 500 is equal to 3200, we simply attach the 67 to get 3267. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please like, share and comment. 
and do subscribe to my channel for latest video updates.